some of you are going to be saying, Ron, today is New York Mug Day. Well, yeah, it is. I think probably a lot of you have noticed that I do these mugs in order. And uh, today we were supposed to have uh, Jonathan's mug, the New York mug. But I'm going to save that for tomorrow. And I think most of you know why. Yeah, today is 9.10, but tomorrow is 9.11. So we'll have the New York mug day tomorrow. Uh, now, what was I going to say here? Oh yeah, I remember. Um, I'm going to have to make something that goes up and over the superstructure. The, the uh, wires that I've been using in the past to, to go over this part here, and I guess maybe this part over here, um, there, well, you can, you can see where I put the brackets, so, so it had to be, have been here and here. I guess at the time it was right, but right now they're, they're too short. I don't have any longer wire, so I'm going to make something out of wood. Um, just sort of makeshift sort of thing, kind of like I've, I've got on, on the end here. You know, just something very, very quick and simple out of scraps that I've got in the workshop. Uh, and, and it'll just sort of go up and over because... I have a bad habit of <clears throat> when I'm reaching over, trying trying to uh, get something. I, I keep brushing against this, and I've actually I've actually bent this. I don't know if I'm going to dare try and straighten it or not. <clears throat> and just a, a few moments ago, when I was rearranging everything here for this opening shot, I, I reached across and I brushed my arm on this. Well, that's how these things get broken. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, I realized last night after I was through videoing, uh, oh by the way I did go back and we'll roll back to that in a minute, uh, I did go go back to the model table and uh, I worked on, on on the stairs here and uh, as you can see this this is different now but you'll, you'll see that if you watch uh, the rollback and uh, I realized afterwards that I've, I've got this ladder wrong, this, this is the wrong way. But, but we'll talk about it uh, in in the uh, you know after we watch uh, what happened last night. Oh, I guess I don't need this anymore here. And yes, I did lick my finger. Uh, oh my goodness, I made a mark on the deck with my wet finger now. Ron, for goodness sakes! So so why is that kind of dark? I, I'll bet you it was from the coffee I had in my mouth. Well, we'll see what happens when it dries. Oh, it, it's disappearing. It's it's disappearing. It was just a case of it got wet. Okay, it wasn't coffee. But it should have been. Okay, here's what's happened. It's only a little over an hour since uh, I quit yesterday's episode. But I was thinking, how would it be if we forgot about the little stem part that goes on the end here that we broke off? And how would it be if I took this little ring and instead of having it bent back this way, I have it bent sort of forward? And, uh, and if we break it off, well then we just flip the whole thing over and Okay, just, just sort of forward like that. Okay, now we're gonna... Did I ever say I can't talk and work at the same time? Okay. Now what if... Where's the holder down right here? Would this hook in like this? I, I realize it's going to be at the a slightly higher angle. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's at, at a higher angle. But, uh, alright, now, where's that other piece? And this is actually the first time I'm doing this, so, uh, 
and may not be going at it the best way. Now, okay, now, now this was supposed to go in like this. You know, maybe before I try to hook hook this part in, what I should be doing is uh, put a little bit of uh, CA right there and let it cure. Now, like I say, I, I realize it's 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 somewhat steeper. It, it shouldn't be at at this much of an angle. It should be more like this. Um, okay, I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of CA on that. And I, uh, folks, I know it's not the way it's supposed to be, but I think it's probably going to look better than if it was laying down. For for one thing, then this this. Uh, hook and everything is going to show up otherwise it's not going to okay let's uh, where's my CA glue okay I don't want to accidentally knock this loose now Once we uh, once we paint over this, okay, I think that's enough. Okay, I don't think that's going to come off now. Now, we don't want this to be swinging around all over the place here. Let's try and get it more or less straight the way it's supposed to go. That's pretty much it. That'll be okay. This will have cured now. And our hoist is, uh, it, it's fairly rigid. It's, it's loose. It, it moves back and forth because it is loose here at the, uh, at the joint. Uh, like it, like it would go up and down a little bit, but I don't, naturally I don't want to do that. Um, okay, now, as for this piece here, we have to try and put it in right here like this. doesn't seem to want to go very good. Problem is I don't have the macro lens on, so I better get the macro lens on and then we'll try this again. Okay, let's try this again. We will get this. See if I could, uh, maybe I can use the poking device here to shove it, shove it in. There. Yeah. 
I meant to hold her down there. There. That looks pretty good. I just twist it just a little bit more square like that. Okay, now if I could get a little bit of CA thin at the top there and let it wick its way down the hook. Oops. Maybe I should be coming in from the back. Okay, am I getting it? I think I am. Okay, I put something in behind there, as you can see, so it sort of silhouettes. I don't think we need to put any more on. We'll let that cure. Okay, I've got everything turned around now so that it's square with the manual. The bow is to the right. And uh, near as I can tell, the only thing left to do here in step 62 is put the ladders on. And they have to go somewhere on this section here. Okay, somewhere down in here, we'll figure it out. Now I thought it would be a good idea to have the railings a little bit spread out so that it wouldn't fall through, but maybe uh, maybe I've got them too spread out. I'm going to have to get the camera out of the way. You know what? I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm starting to get tired. See you in the morning. Well, it's morning. And I'm going to use the holder down right here as a pointer. Um, okay, I was actually working with this ladder here, and as you can see, I've, I've got the ladder the wrong way around. It was supposed to go this way, and it was supposed to go in this stairwell right here. Now, the ladder that is at this orientation, in other words, the, one, the way we were, were working with it, that I put in here, was actually supposed to go into a stairwell that is just in behind here. Now this this drawing is is not real clear, but the reason I, I realized that something was wrong is because I was thinking, well, I got two ladders to put in. Where's the other hole, the other stairwell? And of course, when I finally found it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it to you. I'm going to try. Also, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the ladder. In, in that hole, in that stairwell, because uh, it, it's so awkward. And it's it's the sort of thing that y you literally will not see it. I suppose you could if you used a little flashlight or something. I'm going to try and get it in, and I'm going to try and show it to you. Anyway, th this ladder is the one we, it, that we were working on, but I had it the wrong way around. So let's... Uh, Let's fix that because that's going to be a, a fairly easy fix compared to trying to get this one up into the hole that's in behind there. Okay, now I got to be mindful of what's going on in the surveillance monitor because today is grocery day and my neighbor is going to be going and picking up the groceries soon. Okay, let's try and get this turned around. 
Also today is snowblower day. So, you know, these, these things sort of cut into model table time, you know. They, I can't get this out, how come? Okay, that, that's the clock that I've got set about a minute behind the other one, so you probably notice the time is wrong. Okay, let's get this turned around. Kind of getting it scratched up here. Now, I, being as that it's kind of a tight fit, I'm not going to be needing to use a whole bunch of CA glue. Now, how can I... Ooh, I caught my hand on the stuff on the superstructure here. I got my magnification hood on. I can't see the peripheral vision. I've got to be careful. I didn't break anything, but now it's stuck. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Why will this not go down? There we go. It's going now. Bet you none of the other of you guys have this problem. They probably just fall into place. Yeah, you probably go to bed at night and get up in the morning and little tiny people have put these things in place for you. Now, am I getting it? Is it gonna, if I drag this forward? You know what, I said I didn't break anything, but I bent something, but I think I can straighten it. I'll show you after. Oh, shoot. I said, shoot. Let's just uh, get the camera out of the way so I can see here. Now, if this breaks off, I will be so upset with myself. Just got to bend it down a little bit. And you see where the paint is coming off of it there. It feels so weak. It feels like it's just about ready to fall off. Um, how does that look? Maybe just a tiny bit. Now, now I can sort of tell by the feel of it that it feels like the the uh, metal is is fatiguing to the point of cracking. So what I'm going to do, I've still got some CA here from last night that's thickened up. It's it's thin. Now I know this is going to put a little blob right there. But I'm hoping, oh, come on, it's... Oh, keep bumping it. I don't, you know what, I don't dare straighten that because it is so, it is so weak right now. So I'm hoping that that, when that CA hardens, it's going to reinforce the uh, the joint. Um, I don't know. Should I try and move it back out? I don't know. I, I, I think it. Like I say, it, it's just so precarious. Let's see if I can just pull it out just a little bit here. Let me look in the monitor. Well. You know, I'd, I'd sooner have it built up and, and sort of like a big blob. All right, let's let's let that cure. I think that that's. I think we probably got away with it. Is this the way the rest of the build is going to go? 
Now when I back the camera up out of the way so I could sort of look in it, at it from the back, I could see that it's... Okay, that's, I think that's a little better. And it still hasn't fallen off. And I, I do believe that if we take a little bit of number... Uh, what is this? I think this is the, yeah, this is the uh, 22. And I'm pretty sure that we sprayed the whole thing 22 and then we painted green and red on, on these things here. Um, yeah, I'll take our number 22 and go over that CA and we're not going to, we're not going to see that repair job. Somebody might notice that it is not at the same angle coming out from the, from the bracket here as the one on the other side. But I am afraid that if I try to bend it back this way, like towards you, it's gonna it's gonna just fall right off. It just it, it was at, it felt like if I was to blow on it, it would flap. Now a moment ago, I reached around in behind, and I picked up the macro lens. But before I did that, I thought, you know, uh, I got to be careful not to catch my arm on this. And then the little saying that I have down in my workshop sort of came to mind. Now this this can't always work when you're making a model, but it sure seems to help. It works pretty good down in the workshop and it goes like this. If you keep your eye on the blade, you're not going to stick your finger in the blade. And uh, and that really works. It's sort of, a, I've sort of said, well, if you're looking at a stove and the element is red hot and you're looking at it, you are not going to touch it. Uh, it's only when you're not touching it and reach across to the back and to get a pot or something and if you're not watching the element you could accidentally touch it. So, I'm, so I tried it and I, I sort of stared at, looked at this and then in my peripheral vision I went around. And yeah, it kind of works. Now, unfortunately, you can't always do that when you're making a model. Down in my workshop, a lot of my stuff has blades. In fact, my shaper is, uh, that thing will take your finger off right to your Adam's apple before you can blink, uh, almost. And uh, I've got a lot of stuff down in the workshop. Almost everything I've got in my workshop has high-speed blades that will well, I was going to say kill you, but uh, <laughs> you'd wish you were dead if you touched them when they were turning. Anyway, um, I, I've been lucky in my in my workshop. I, I still have uh, most of my fingers. I think they're all there. Yep. Okay, I'm looking in the monitor right now, and I can see that uh, the angle is not quite right here for the camera, but you can see that the... Uh, back of the stairs, the photo edge is glinting pretty bad. So all I'm going to try to do here is Okay, that's that's all I'm going to put on. Just so that it, uh, you know, in case it wants to fall off, it, won't, it, it can't. Um, noticing that my neighbors are getting ready to go get the groceries, so I've got to keep my eyes open here. Now the stairwell for the other ladder is just in behind here. It's, it's more or less right in the center of this last module that we glued down the other day. So, um, you can see why I'm saying it's going to be really hard to to try and get the ladder in there. Um, I think I've got the camera set at about the right angle. I might have to override the exposure a little bit. Let's just try that and see if it lightens it up so we can see in there better. Yeah, that's somewhat better. We might be able to see if I'll have it like that. Okay, um, <laughs> you can't see the monitor, but it says 10,000 ISO right now. <laughs> Okay, how am I going to get that in there now? Alright, 
I think it's if I can just get the bottom in here and start it down the stairwell it's binding on something It look like it's going? I, th I think it is. It's, let me get my angle just a little bit different here. Uh -huh. Just noticing the other end of the uh, holder dammer is very close to my eye. I'm glad I got my glasses on. Okay, I wonder if I was to grab hold of it from underneath somehow. No, that's not going to work. I'm pulling it out. I'm supposed to be pushing it back, pushing it down. There we go. I'm, I'm scraping paint off it, but at least it's going down, I think. Oh my, maybe I uh, try and find something else here. I don't know if this is going to be better or worse. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to just turn the camera off and uh, and kind and kind of look at it from the same angle that the camera is seeing it because uh, I'm looking the way I'm looking at it. I can only see it with one eye at a time, and consequently, I don't have stereo vision and I can't judge the depth. Now this dry dock that I made, it. Uh, I can lay the ship almost on its side and it won't fall out. My uh, groceries just came and I'm going to have to quit here. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll go at it again. Okay. Now, it's kind of in place, but uh, you know, if you've got to use a flashlight and then you and even then you can barely see it, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not quite right. I'm wondering if maybe it should be turned around the other way, even though I, I thought the manual wanted it to go the way we put it. But you know, uh, the next uh, major event that's supposed to be happening this afternoon between 1 and 3 is my snowblower supposed to be delivered. Uh, yeah, um, we'll be looking at that tomorrow all being well. Uh, we just don't have time today. Uh, I didn't realize that I'd shot so much uh, uh, footage, you might say, uh, in, in, you know, in the last uh, few minutes, or our last three, three hours actually, until I started editing it out. Everything you've seen up till now is, it was edited out. Uh, after the groceries came and got put away and I still got to wash my prunes uh, <laughs> Okay uh, Thanks for watching everybody and all being well. We'll be seeing you tomorrow